Hello, I'm Pumlani Mbabela. Welcome to the third video of my SOA tutorial series. In this um, episode, we're gonna discuss. Uh, I'm gonna demonstrate how to integrate your server to Eclipse. But you can use any um, IDE of your choice. But I'll suggest you use Eclipse because in that way we're gonna be um, whatever concepts I'm, I'm gonna demonstrate is gonna be easier for for you to mirror. So I have an Eclipse installation. I'm using Juno, so y you can download Eclipse from eclipse.org. It's a free tool. Voila. Cool. Never mind that. Okay, we're gonna sorry about that. We're gonna go to servers. This is a window, so to access it we go window show view servers. The server view. Okay, let me work these. server our server version is 6.1 so we're gonna select this one if you do not have this menu or your Joe your J boss or this window your support for J boss instances ends maybe here you might want to update your plugin how you do that you go here marketplace you go to marketplace and then and then type in jboss okay, this might take a while this update here okay cool Okay, but anyways, those those plugins, those server plugins, you need to download. You're gonna download them from from here. Okay, this is the developer studio for Kepler. I guess Kepler is the latest version. Juno, I'm using Juno. Okay, I've got this, so you might want to download this tools so this will you get to tools and you support you also might want to download that and bear in mind when you're downloading software for Eclipse you need to also um, take cognizance of the version so if you're using like I'm using Juno you shouldn't download this these tools for Indigo it might cause problems because they geared for for different version anyways let's go here we're gonna go we're gonna select that we go add browse to our in server installation rockstar that's our server this is a configuration it's by we're gonna use default by default finish next next we don't have an application to, to deploy okay I think it's done oopsie okay, I think we need to delete that I'm not sure what happened there okay now let's fire it up now we have integrated JBoss to our IDE which is Eclipse remember the folder we spoke about that I created uh, at runtime the temp and log we don't have work okay cool maybe work is no longer supported because work and data they actually store private data so um, maybe in this version the folder was dropped but anyways if you look here okay, 
as we let it finish. It's bootstrapping, it's starting up. I think starting up services now, it's done bootstrapping. That was JPBM stuff. Okay, it's, it's done. How do I know? Because of this line. Now is the name of this build. When I say build, I mean the JBoss build. It's a nickname. That's the version number. This is a nickname. And then it took 49 seconds plus 645 milliseconds to start up. Cool. Now, we you shouldn't have errors or maybe two errors. If you look here, JAXR is a protocol for querying registries like UDDI and there's a service that was not found for JBBM. The reason why it is not found because on the um, on the registry maybe it was not defined but a category when you define a service you'll give it a category and the service name and when you query it you'll use those two, two parameters but don't worry about this the next example I think in the next episode we're gonna do a, a programming tutorial where we'll define a service you will see where this where the category and the service name how how it's used by JBoss to query um, that's another failure here let's see let's, this is another exception the dead letter service don't worry about this and okay I think that that's about it you should only have those two errors okay this is the end of our tutorial we've successfully integrated JBoss in the next tutorial we're gonna start um, programming examples we'll actually develop um, a solution but I think the next the next four episodes they're gonna um, they're gonna revolve around the JBoss ESP features but we'll have, we have programming we'll do a pr an, an example we'll write a code but it'll be for sh demonstrating a certain feature or a certain service how it works and things like that but after that we're gonna we're gonna design a full-fledged um, solution I've got an idea in mind uh, I hope you're gonna find it fun I think it's fun okay cool that's about it for this episode thank you for watching <laughs>